right, now let's draw the Lewis dot structure for ethanol, CH3CH2OH. That's drinking alcohol. So this structure, this formula, gives us an, some information about the structure. We know that there's a methyl or a CH3 group, then a CH2 group, and then an OH attached. If you saw this C2H6O, you might end up being able to draw more than one correct Lewis structure. They would be totally different compounds, but still valid structures. So let's just go ahead and I want to draw methanol. So it's this structure, C, H, 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 C, H, H, O, H. And I knew that those hydrogens are going to be around the central carbons and oxygens and that carbon can only form four bonds and then oxygen wants two so we knew this would be the general skeleton framework for CH3 CH2 OH and then now we could draw our Lewis dot structures or Lewis dots hydrogens have one valence electrons oxygen has six carbons have four and then connect the valence electrons. And that is the Lewis dot structure for ethanol. If you were just given C2H6O, you could have put a C and then an O and then a C. Hmm, let's see if this works. Well, how many H's do we have left over? There's six. So we know that this oxygen just wants to form two bonds and two lone pairs because it's got its six Lewis electrons. And this leaves this carbons with three unpaired valence electrons. And hey, look, we got six hydrogens. So we can just put our hydrogens around those carbons. And then we get an isomer, meaning two different compounds with the same C2H6O chemical formula.